Welcome back to Ringworm. I'm still here, still living by myself out in the forest. Started in uh, around February with a friend and he was out here for a few months and he had to go back to work. So it's now November and last week it was snowing. It's 70 degrees now. I don't know what's going on. But if you caught my last, man, those are noisy. If you caught my last video, uh, I started building a uh, deer blind of sorts with my brother, we put the frame together and then uh, he took off and a couple weeks later I came back to work on this thing again. And I kind of wanted to build a tree house too. And I also kind of wanted to have like a guest room thing. I, I stay in a tent, but I know other people that come out here don't necessarily like that. It's not that I have visitors that often, but more than anything, it would just be another funny thing to build, a little fun project. So uh, yeah, last video, Got out the chainsaw mill, ran it for days, made all the boards and lumber with the chainsaw and slapped together a little cabin on stilts. So I'm starting today decorating, a little interior decorating. You know, it's just a little something I do on the side. I've got a, I think this is like a 120 year old 22. I shot it today for no reason. It's just gonna hang on the wall just to make sure it fired. And I got some lanterns that I got a while back off of uh, Craigslist for like five bucks or something. So I'm gonna get going putting the inside in this thing, prettying it up, you know, so that everybody can see how beautiful it is. Not that it really matters, but it's gonna be fun for me and give me a little uh, break from all the heavy lifting. It's gonna be nice to put this thing together. So here we go. some old uh, window glass from uh, boat enclosures that I used to make. Uh, Strata glass, I believe, but it's been coiled up for about five years. It's got quite a memory and it's cold out. So just hanging it over the brand new, brand new propane heater. Let me watch it just slowly unroll. Do a little ironing here. See if I can get some of the wrinkles out. And I'll put a snap in, then I'll screw the stud into the wall. And then I can stretch everything from there. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, it's pretty fancy. Put the cap in there, female part on there, and then you just squeeze and it crimps on. You want to make sure you put these in right side up done the, a few of those on boats where I had it on backwards and it's not easy to get those out. And that's that. Good. Oh, woo! Last one. And the heater's still on low, and now it's friggin' hot in here. I love it. We need a little table right here. Man, if I get this thing finished without falling through that trap door, it's going to be a miracle. Coming close. Maybe a corner shelf or two. Well, might as well make two. There's no chance I'd ever make a shelf or anything like that out of anything but scrap lumber. So if uh, I need a shelf in the corner and I don't have the right piece of wood, it won't get made or I'll make it a different shape or a different size or attach it differently. It's too much work to make all this stuff. So fun work, but you're not going to cut down and mill a tree with a chainsaw just to make a silly little corner shelf. Saved all these pieces of siding, just scraps. There's always some use for them. If you can find a way to hold on to this and cut it with a chainsaw, it's kind of tricky. Just putting your toe on it somewhere and 
trying to cut it straight. Can you tell some of those seams need to be cocked a little bit? That'll do. Got those some cool marks the bugs make in the wood. It's like a bug zipper. Found this guy in my scrap bin. So that's going to be a shelf. It's a nice cut off angle on it. So I'm going to make a fold down bunk here. And my thickest bed pad, most of them are like an inch, but I have one that's four inches. So if somebody wants to use that in here, be able to fold it up and still have it against the wall without taking the air out of it. I guess it needs to stand out about four inches. Go do some chopping. If I can find a, something I already cut down, that'd be great. Kind of like a four by four. It's hard to make a uh, lumber perfectly square by just eyeballing it with the, or freehanding it with the chainsaw. And this isn't gonna square anything up, just taking the chunks off. So it'll either fit or it won't. I'm not sure if there's a square enough side on it to fit to the wall. Looks not too bad, really. This is a little massive for what I needed, but I didn't, uh any other way to space this from the wall four inches and then still screw it in so i don't even have any screws long enough to go through here so i'm going to drill some big fat holes to sink them in a ways Looks like we just elected a new president. It's funny out here, you can hardly tell the difference. Now the question is, Will it fit in there all put together? I'm guessing probably not. Got some more of my fancy $1 hinges. These look like they're from the 70s or something. Wonder when the original person bought this, if this is what they had in mind. I'm sure it was, they just didn't get around to it. something thinking about some kind of little hinged flop down foot for right here like that a couple of these under here for supports something my cat I don't know something like that not bad Went to the Home Depot's 
got the cheapest stuff I could find. So I'm caulking this all in with roof repair. Anybody have any idea if this is a big disaster? It's hard to tell. It smells really bad, so it's got to be good, right? And it was black. And I think it looks kind of cool, even though I'm making a mess. <laughs> Man, it, it gets pretty hungry out here. About every two hours. Oh, it feels weird to sit down like this. Wasting time. It gets dark at 5 o'clock, so not a whole lot of sunlight to burn. Well, it looks kind of cool for uh, roofing tar. <laughs> Man, it's like a, a madman built this with a chainsaw. Without any plans or forethought or really thinking of any kind. It's a disgrace to every man, woman, and child that ever built anything with their eyes open. Well, I put a hook underneath here just to hang the propane canister for the heater, just so it wasn't inside, and it was too ugly. I thought this would look cooler, you know, for the tourists. And the news media when they come again. The rain, especially on this backside, because that's like at least six feet from the top down to here. The rain blowing this way will go right in that window. And probably in the sides too. They've only got a couple few feet. Uh below the roof but i think the rain would still blow in there pretty easily maybe not the front the front's right under that overhang so as quickly and simply as possible i'm gonna make a couple uh awnings for those i got this scrap uh what is this inch and a half that i milled uh, i think that's left over just scraps cut off from the floor of this thing um i think i'm just gonna Rip the edges off, stick them together, I don't know how, screw them together somehow. And, uh, man, just cut an angle on that end, I guess. Put it up there, the only issue, these are, these sides are easy to attach it, because I can just screw it right into the wall, it's flat. But here, I've got all those rounds up there. I don't know, a real easy way to do it. I kind of don't want to stand on an extension ladder and run a chainsaw, so... In uh, classic me style, I'm just going to go ahead and start and see what happens. I'm going to cut a couple of these and stick them together and then take them up there and see if there's any reasonable way to attach them. You never know. It might work out great. <laughs> so I'll just screw something on here temporarily to hold them together and flat. And the scrap pile's running a little thin. It's about the only thing I got left. That one. Maybe just do that on the bottom to hold them together and somehow trim an angle on there. I don't know how I'll do that with the saw, but figure something out. Just need some kind of an angle. I don't really care what angle it is. Somewhere between, what, would that be 90 and 45? somewhere in there so i just drew a line randomly on here and i guess if i can get the chainsaw to cut right along that line there and just barely come out on that edge there it'll be a consistent angle i don't know what angle and i don't know if it'll work let's try it well sort of worked and sort of is good enough for me like a giant battery powered chainsaw eraser. Oh, well, somehow it's gotta hang up there. Like, yeah. So I gotta make a flat, flat spot up there somehow.
Is this really gonna work? Just a few gallons of caulk, gotta fill this right in. That looks so good, I think I'll make another one. I have just enough scraps for one more short one. They look cool. Red right returning. Hey, do you guys have any idea uh, what I can do to keep the mice and red squirrels out of here? There's so many red, well, there are a lot of both of them here, but to keep them from chewing this place up, I guess, you know, since it's not on the ground, the only access it really is the uh, five poles, well, I guess the ladder. Um, is there anything I can put around the legs, like, <laughs> like crushed razor blades or small explosives? <laughs> anything to keep them out? Uh, I'd love to know if you guys got any ideas, even if it's, even if it's a non-classical solution, I, uh, I might try it out. Check it out. It's perfectly dark outside. And I'm in here with the heater going. Got the light on. This is weird. Being out at Ringworm and being inside and warm with carpet. It's kind of creeping me out. Well, I finished it. <laughs> it was probably a month in the making, and it now looking at it now, it definitely got out of hand uh, from what I might have imagined it would be. But I think the place is great. I uh, I hung out in here last night for a little bit uh, just before dark. Thought I'd see if the uh, if there are any deer that came out, and I was making noise in here, moving around everything, and I kind of stumbled and did, did a loud step and I saw at the window a buck ran out from directly underneath this thing. While I was making noise, while the four-wheelers parked out here, there's chainsaws, all sorts of smells, everything. He was underneath this. If I, I could have opened the trap door and just jumped on and <laughs> rode him off. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem getting the wildlife to come back around here. Uh, this was really great fun. Um, I appreciate you guys watching as always. I really do appreciate it. And if you liked it, uh, give it a like. If not, you don't have to give it a like. There'd be no reason for that. So, uh, till next time, there is, uh, I think the next project I'm going to do is build a log frame and a roof over top of the tent deck. So I have to go take down my big orange, wonderful tent right now, my palace and switch it out for something that'll handle the snow. Cause we got a bunch of snow on the way. So, uh, it'd be nice to have a roof over top of that thing. And I, you know, I, a lot of people have said, why don't you just stay in that? Why don't you just stay in the, the deer castle? And I just, I love being in tents. I mean, to me, it still feels like I'm outside. So it's not like I have all day outside and then the day ends and I go inside. It's like, you're, you're always outside. You still hear what's going on around you. You know, you hear the weather, everything. And I really like that. And when I was in here the other night, it's just like, man, I was just sucked right out of ringworm after living out here for the whole year it was just like like that i was not here anymore i was just in a building it was really bizarre i mean don't get me wrong i'll definitely use this i'll hang out in here um come in here to get warm get out of the snow and stuff but not stay in here not sleep in here i don't want to make this uh don't want to make this my home it doesn't feel like i'm out here anymore so until the next video really appreciate you guys watching yeah.